This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Georgetown, Penang, known as the food paradise of Southeast Asia. We are so excited to finally be here as we've heard nothing but great things about the food. On this hot and sunny day, we're going to be eating five of the most recommended dishes by you guys, all for under $2 each. The first stop for today is Bridge Street Prawn Noodle, where we're going to be eating some Hokkien Mee. Good morning from Penang. It's morning because we're going to try and eat a lot of food today. We're going to be trying loads of dishes everyone's been recommending for us to eat here in Penang and they're all going to be for under two US dollars which is around eight ringgits and eighty. So the first place we're going today is a place that sells a dish called Hokkien Mi and neither of us have tried this yet so let's go to the restaurant because it's just over there. Now we've pretty much just sat down in this place called Bridge Street Prawn Noodle. We've already got our dish here and our drinks because they pretty much do one specific dish here which is Hokkien Mi, which is a Chinese origin noodle dish. But before we get into the food, we've got something that you recommended about a billion times in the last video and that is Te Tarik, which is almost like a pulled tea, I guess you'd call it. So the way that they mix it, it's almost like quite frothy, but it is a tea. Interestingly, te in both Welsh and in Swedish, which is where we're from, is also called te. So this one is a very easy one for us to remember. But it looks, actually it smells really good. Oh, oh that is so sweet. I do love a sweet drink. Oh. That's actually really nice. Dylan doesn't love tea. I really like tea, so this one's for me. Everyone in the UK seems to love tea, but I really don't like the taste of tea. I just think it tastes like diluted water. So a strong white coffee for me. Oh, it's just so thick and nice. Perfect. Should we dig into the food? So this dish is Hokkien Mi and it looks fantastic. You can see all the uh, fried onions on the top there. Oh, it smells awesome. There's a fried egg in there. There's thick yellow noodles, so it also looks like vermicelli noodles as well. And if you look on the side, you can see that it could be a little bit spicy. You can see the oil on there. So this dish does come with prawns and pork. So that's why we've only got one dish. I'm going to eat the majority of it, while Adriana's probably just going to try the broth and the noodles itself. So, shall we dig in? She actually came over and gave us a fork. Uh, but we're probably not going to use that just yet. Maybe at the end, just to get everything together. But let's... I'm still not that good with these chopsticks, but they work much better than a fork. Let's just stir this a little bit. Oh, look at that. So, everyone's been telling us that if you get any type of noodles in Malaysia, stir it so you can get the proper flavor so let's stir this i'm making a mess here it's all part of it it's gonna be hot mm. oh yeah that is very nice mm. you can taste the prawns in there it's a little bit fishy a little bit sour not, not spicy actually, even though I thought it was going to be spicy, but let me taste some of this pork on here. Mm. That tastes like proper char siu pork, like the ones we had in um, Vietnam in Hoi An with that khao lao oh. Would you like to try some? Would you like to try some? Yes <laughs> please! So, oh yeah, I can see a little prawn in there. You can have a prawn. Mm. Oh, that's so nice and flavorful. Oh, that's really good. Um, mm. You're right, I could do it with a little bit of spice. And the lady came over and she said, this is spicy, so... Let's see what that's like. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't wear whites today. <laughs> so messy. 
Mm. Better? That's not even that spicy, but it does add a little bit of a kick. Oh, this is a good dish. It's a nice way to start the day. <laughs> Got the spoon out to get the end bits. Mm. All the flavor, the prawns, the onions, the chili we added is at the bottom here. Mm. This dish is up there with one of the best we've had in Malaysia up to now. Mm. Look at that. Right, this video wouldn't be a video without dessert, would it? So let's head off to the next place where we're gonna try some chendol. So the food in that place, which was delicious, may I add, was five ringgit. Now, everything collectively together, including the drinks, was nine ringgit and 60 cents. But with this video, we're just concentrating on the food. So five foods for under $2. That one was way under. That was a very good price for such a delicious dish. It is a very hot and humid day here in Penang. The weather in Penang has been kind of weird. There's been, some days it's been really gray. And then some days have been really grey in the morning, but really hot at night, and the opposite as well. It's, it's, it's very unpredictable, but it's perfect time to get some chendol. As you may have seen already, we've tried chendol twice already. Once in Kuala Lumpur with the durian, which we didn't really like because it spoiled the taste completely. And then we had it in Malacca, and that was fantastic. But with Malaysian food and food in Malaysia in general, things taste different in different parts to where you go. So this chendol is going to be tasting a little bit different because it has slightly different ingredients. As soon as you turn the corner, you can see a huge queue of people. You think, is that for the chendol? It is for the chendol. <laughs> I think this place must be quite popular. <laughs> Hello. Literally a huge queue here. But the way they do it is so fast, it's just like... So the queue is going down really fast. Hello, chendol, please. One. And here, right? Uh, take away. Take away. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so we now have our Penang chendol, uh, which is slightly different to the one we had in uh, Melaka. It's way more runny. Can you see that? It's literally in, in Melaka. It wasn't runny until it was melted. But this is, this came like this. Price for this one was four ring. It's forty, which is way less than two dollars. But oh, look at that. So the way they make this is here: they shave the ice first in a really old-fashioned machine that just spins around and then uh, gets shaved ice. And then the guy is like, literally like a conveyor belt. He's just pouring in the stuff. So he pours in the gula malaka, which is the palm sugar. He pours in some kidney beans and. Some of you have been telling us that these green things is what is actually called chendol. These green, wormy looking things. Uh, is there anything else in there? I don't know, but <laughs> let's try it. Let's grab some of that iced. Oh. I'm just trying to compare my, my chendols here now. <laughs> it's a lot less sweet than the one in Malacca. Very nice, but... I actually prefer it being less runny, you know? Mmm. This is more like a... like a milkshake. Mmm. Try it. You guys have been making it super clear for us that we need to mix everything a lot. And I don't think Dylan mixed that quite enough. Maybe that's why it wasn't so sweet. So let me get that a proper... That is so soupy. I would agree that I probably prefer a less runny version and maybe on a cooler day this would be less runny. I also prefer it when it's a little bit sweeter, I think. Now, I don't know if the gula malacca, which is obviously what makes it sweet, if in malacca they have more of that. It sounds like it would come from there. I'm not 100% sure on that, but this is definitely slightly less sweet. Mm, still nice and refreshing and super interesting to try because this is miles apart from the first one and from the second one that we tried. So it's like three different desserts, except that they're all chendol. Mm, still like it. 
If you own a Chendo store, or any store for that matter, you might have considered getting a website. We've just made a completely brand new website ourselves on Squarespace, and it was very easy. Even if you're not tech savvy, you can use one of the many award-winning templates that Squarespace has on offer. But even if you are tech savvy, there's still places where you can enter snippets of code in there as well to make your site look awesome. We just love how easy it is to pop in a new photo, pop in some new text, change the text, change the color of the text, just do anything with a click of the button, it's done. Now that our website's been live for over a month, we can see where everyone's come from on this world map. And I can see what keywords people have been searching on Google to come to our website. If you're looking to build your own website, just go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash two passports to save 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain. Now, let's get some more food. Hello. Thank you very much. We are currently sat in a place called Penang Road Famous Laksa and we're here for the Assam Laksa which is a Malay dish that actually originated in Penang. It is very very loud in here, all the fans are going. It is a hot day today, it's probably going to rain any second. It is humid, it is thick. It is perfect time to try this drink, which I asked for lime and it looks green, so I'm gonna assume that it's a lime beverage. With Assam. With Assam. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, mm. oh, you'd love this one. Oh, that is good. And this one, even though it's also green, it's not the same thing. She suggested it and it was called Ambla. Ambla. If you know what that is, let us know. Oh, ah, apple? It could be guava. Is it guava? I don't know. It tastes really nice. Mm. But the real reason that we're here is obviously mm, for the Assam Laksa. Okay, so here we have the Assam Laksa. Now we've tried Laksa before. We tried Laksa Johor which is very different to this one. This one looks very more runny again. So it's a fish-based sour noodle soup with some thick noodles in there, some shredded vegetables, and oh, it just smells so, that smells really sour actually. Oh, let's mix this all together. Oh, look at the flavor there. Oh, oh. let's dig in. Choppy stickies. Oh, these are really thick noodles, actually. Whoa, that is that is sour. My God. Wow, that's like nothing I've tasted before. Is that ginger? Some form of root vegetable in there, and it really brings it together. Mm. Mm. Mm, that's surprising. Really nice. No, I didn't think it was going to be nice, but I'll have you try it. Try it. It smells sour. It smells sour, yeah. Mm. Mm. You're right. That's like a really interesting flavor. It's kind of spicy, really sour, but not not uncomfortably so. It's still very fishy, just like the last laksa that we had. But the last one was so fishy. This feels a lot more fresh. No, this is something pickled, isn't it? Maybe like a pickled radish? No. I don't know. What is the... Uh... What's this? What, 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 what is it? Hmm? Pi pineapple? No. Pineapple? No. Uh, it's good, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> like a fruit? <laughs> is she saying pineapple? Ananas? Oh, pineapple! Is that pineapple? Pineapple. Ah, thank you. <laughs> oh! It's like the hard bit of the pineapple. Yeah! That's super interesting. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's actually really, really nice. I was expecting it to be some sort of root vegetable because you said it was root vegetable yeah. and it put it in my head. I was like, yeah, definitely pickled root vegetable. Definitely not pickled root vegetable. Definitely just pineapple. I know pineapple on pizza is a no-no, but I feel like pineapple on this is yes, yes. 
So the price for the Assam Laksa was six ringgits and the drinks were three ringgits each. So underneath eight ringgits 80 again. Now we're gonna head off to the next place now to a place that sells nasi kandar, which is something else that we haven't tried, but there's been so many recommendations for specifically Penang because it was originated here. So should we go? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> So people have been telling us that Penang, or Penang, not 100% sure how to pronounce it, is the place to be for food in Malaysia. And we were literally speaking to some people earlier that had literally flown in for the day from KL, the capital city, to Penang, just for the food. And they're going to about four or five places and then they're flying back to KL the same day. That's how good the food is here. But, but also, the food, is extremely affordable as well. All these dishes that we've tried today are under two dollars. Obviously if you add a drink it's a little bit more but for just the food it's an absolute bagger and it's so good as well. If you're enjoying this video so far, then please consider subscribing to our channel. We have a lot of fun videos coming up and a lot of traveling left to do. We're not going to stop for a long time. Now, typical Hinang weather again, started raining. <laughs> but I think we're really close to where we're going right now, so Nasi Kandar. Excited to try this one. Yeah, a lot of people have been saying you cannot leave without trying it. So, yeah, I'm intrigued. another tetaric <laughs> it's my new favorite actually it's my second favorite to the really delicious coffee but mm. oh, it's so sweet I love it mm. okay I actually got a orange juice fresh orange juice or oh, you can tell that's just been squeezed this restaurant is called Nassim Kandar Kalita and it's a really big cafeteria style restaurant where they've got loads of and you'll have to help us here, we're not Nasi Kandar specialists, this is actually our first time in a Nasi Kandar restaurant so I don't really know how it works but he came over and asked what did we want, we said Nasi Kandar, he said with what? and we said some prawns or fish, he said no because Adriana doesn't eat meat so we got some chicken, but she's not gonna eat the chicken, obviously. I will eat the chicken. So what we have, and I'm, again, not 100% sure how you eat this. We have some curry, or like a gravy. Um, looks similar to the Roshi Chanai type of um, curry, but maybe it doesn't taste the same, we'll see. We have a chicken that looks like it's spiced really nice. Oh yeah, smells good. And then, either cucumber or zucchini slash courgette pickled maybe not sure so and do you eat with your hands for this everyone else seems to be eating with their hands um, i don't know <laughs> okay i'm i'm gonna just freestyle here and uh pour this on top of my rice that seems like a logical thing to do, right? As long as it goes in my mouth, it doesn't matter. Okay, some chicken. Oh, I have cleaned my hands, don't worry. Okay. Can I use my hands? If I use my hands, then I can't touch the camera to record you. So, I'll use, I'll use a spoon. I'll use a spoon. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. See, a bit of everything on there. I'll try the um, cucumber stuff on its own, I think. This first. Whoa. Spicy, actually. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, that's nicer. That's different flavor to the Dotti Chennai. Mmm. That's very, very nice. Try it with. Uh, yeah, let's try. 
some of this. Hmm, oh, those are very mild tasting. I was expecting them to taste like, you know, like a cornichon, like a cornichon pickle, but they're very bland. But the curry is really good. Not entirely sure why this is a dish in itself, because to me it's just a bit of curry and a bit of rice and chicken, but tasty. I'm obviously going to be trying it without the chicken, but I will have some of the pickled zucchini courgettes? Gherkins? I don't know. I don't know. So this dish, if I understand it correctly, comes in a variety of options. Obviously Dylan's gone for chicken today because they didn't have a lot of other options, but I think normally you can also have fish versions and prawn versions. Anyway, interestingly, the name Nasi Kandar comes from how the merchants used to carry the food back in the day uh, in what was called a Kandar. We'll have to put an image on the screen because I won't be able to describe it to you. But basically a long pole with two baskets at the end. And that's how I understand where it comes from. And nasi means rice. So food, carried, rice, here we go. Mm. Okay, the sauce is actually, the curry is pretty tasty. I don't think they're pickled because they're not really that sour. They're just very mild like Dylan said. Maybe they are pickled in some way, but uh, as you can see from the receipt that we got, there's so many different food options that they have in this place. But anyway, what we paid for the food itself was 8.30. Now this is just under two US dollars, which is a pretty awesome price for something that has so many side little dishes. Uh, the drinks was 160 and 180 as well, so pretty good. We have uh, ice cream. Ice kacang. Ice cream. How do you say? Kacang. Kacang. Ice kacang. 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 Ice kacang. Kacang. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is just one Malay. 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 Okay. Kacang. Ice kacang. Ice cream one. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. We've just sat down in a place that we've actually been passing pretty much every day since we got here to Penang. It's called Swato Lane Ice Kacang, and we're here for one reason and one reason only: the ice kacang. Now, ice kacang supposedly just means bean ice, but there's another name for it as well, which is ABC, which stands for Air Batu Kampur, which means mixed ice. Now, normally it would just come with shaved ice and red beans, I think, but this one has got all types of crazy stuff on top of it. I can see sweet corn, that's for sure. I can see ice cream, which is very nice. But there's, I think there's some sort of maybe agar agar or something, like some sort of jelly in there as well. There's a lot of different things in here. I, it looks epic. I actually can't wait to try it. I don't even know what this is. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna get a bit of everything. Okay. I bet you this is gonna be one of those things where you say mix it first, but I don't wanna ruin it. So just in case you're not meant to mix it, I'm just gonna try a bit. Oh! Oh! The middle bit tastes like root beer. Uh, what? No. That's like... Whoa. This, this here, definitely tastes like root beer. It's so interesting. I don't even know what... Whoa! Okay. I think this is definitely one of those desserts that's meant to be mixed because everything tastes super intense on its own. Ooh. Wow. It's really cold. <laughs> it is super tasty, very sweet and super varied, but it definitely tastes like root beer. I had never tried root beer before coming to Malaysia. And there was one place that we went the other day that they gave you root beer as standard. And I didn't like root beer, so it tastes really odd. Let's mix some of this together. Mm. I don't taste much root beer there. Try just the... Oh yeah, yeah, I got it. it? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. But it's not as strong as actual root beer. 
Mm. It's a very messy dish. Look at this. It's melting already. Mmm. <laughs> I wonder what came first, the chendol dish or ice kakang? Probably chendol, right? Eh? This looks like a offshoots of chendol. Mmm. Very nice, very refreshing, but very messy. Very messy. This huge dessert is six ringgit, which is pretty much standard what we've had everything sort of cost today. It's him epic to have five different things under two dollars each it's great value for money and it's been super super delicious to try all these new foods that we've never had before but if you enjoyed this video we think you'll quite like the one that's on the screen right now where we went with an actual local guide to try loads of different foods here in malaysia